All right, seven yards, 21 feet, five rounds. Let's see if we can rip off a fast time. There you go. Ah, dang it. All right, starting over. <laughs> God, I can't get my finger placement on this thing. Long trigger pull, here we go again. Ah, so close. Uh, we have a 2.04, even that mess up at the end, 2.04, it was that string. First shot at 0.51, so reaction time fast. And I think we got, we got all five on paper, kind of wonky. Uh, one of the trigger pulls, it was just like, eh. <laughs> First shot, 0.51, second shot, 0.32, third shot, 0.29, fourth shot, 0.31, and fifth shot, 0. 0.61. Yeah, slow. Putting some duct tape on the holes, yeah. That way at least we'll definitely know where the impact points are. This way you also know my attempts. So the duct tape will tell you the amount of shots I've taken. And round five, here we go. Three, two, one, and... Ah, 1.76, but I missed one shot. Son of a gun. We have the first shot at 0 0.52, so the reaction time's really quick. Um, but it's actually throwing my shot off. I'm kind of all over the place. 1.76 minus the reaction time of 0 0.52. So that's 74, 1.24. So very close, getting very close. This time was 1.14, so. 1.24, I am literally 0.1 seconds off from beating his time. We're gonna get it. And with the duct tape, you'll see my attempts, so you understand what's going on. Da, 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 da. Not horrible. I think that last shot came up here, but not horrible for 500 Magnum. You gotta let that trigger all the way reset and then pull it back down and all the way reset and pull it back down, unlike a speed trigger or a competition trigger, because this is a stock firearm, no modifications, full grain loads, full bullets, you have to go full double action every time, and that's counterproductive to what I'm used to doing, which is not wanting to slap the trigger. But you gotta do that to let the trigger reset, but I'm trying to hit it right on that prime spot. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! 1.96, and we got one, two, three, four, five. 1.96 with the first time of 0.77, ah, which gives me a 1.19 fastest time. So I am 0 0.05 or 0 0.06 seconds off from beating his time. Ah, almost there. 0 0.0, I, I still can't get over that. 0 0.06 seconds off from beating the time. And that's why it's so important to really talk about down to the tenths and hundreds and thousands of a second, especially when it comes to a world record title. That's why it comes down to keeping track of all the little details. Here we go. <laughs> that last trigger pull, man, I'm trying too quick. It was, well, not bad. 1.83 with a first shot time of 0.43. I just, it feels so weird to wait to pull the trigger, but maybe that's what I need to do. Expensive, 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 very expensive world record. Well, at least I'm narrowing down my point of impacts. Three, four, clouds are coming in. Slow down the reaction time. That was a 0.43 reaction time. I can wait a little bit longer. Oh. Ah, oh, still not getting it. That was a 2.01, so still faster than his overall time. Um, I'm beating the overall time very well, uh, including reaction time, but that overall time is not what he counted. He counted just the shot, so reaction time on that one was 0.78. Hitting target, landing all five shots consistently, narrowing it down.
Woo! <laughs> okay, so I got one, two, let me count them, hold on. Five shots off, <laughs> damn it. One, two, three, four. I got four on target. <laughs> Reaction time of 108 and the total time of 2.19. So taking that eight off for the 19, you're looking at 11, taking that one off the two. So you got 1.11. So fastest five shots ever on target, but I missed one. It started at 1.08, second shot at 0.28, third shot at 0.27, fourth shot at 0.27, and fifth shot at 0.29. So I beat it, not all five shots on target, does not count in my book. <laughs> yeah, gosh dang it, that's a horrible string, horrible. With a low shot. Ah, hemo. Still had that first shot in points eight three. I gotta slow it down. And Get that trigger pull. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Oh, that's close. I pull another one high. Saw the dog. <laughs> one, two, three, four. We got a 201 on that one. And first shot at 0.84, 1.17. So only point. 0.03 off from tying him. Still missed one shot. Oh, I'm getting there. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Four and five lipstick containers. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, one, two, three, four, five. We have a time of 1.71 with a first shot reaction time of 0.62, which means I did five shots, a Smith & Wesson 500, whoo, and 1.09. And you saw all the attempts getting this done, get my glasses down and my hand gets to relax. Check this out, so I'm not gonna cut away. I'm now I'm determined just to get it on this. <laughs> oh man, all right. There it is, so 1.71 over to the times. First shot reaction time is coming in at 0.62, second shot's 0.29. Third shot's 0.26, and oh, going the wrong way. And fourth shot's 0.28, and fifth shot's 0.26. Very consistent. Subtracting, we're gonna rack focus back to me. Uh, oh God, I'm trying to look at that camera. 1.09 seconds for five shots of 500 Magnum onto a target at 21 feet, seven yards, and actually a decent group. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate the support of my channel. Any one of you can go out right now and start practicing, especially if you're good with recoil and a gun. Practice and 10 to one, you could probably beat me. I'm not claiming to be the best in the world. Anybody that claims to be the best shooter in the world is pompous and it, it bugs the heck out of me. And the reason for it is because there's always other people. Some people don't film themselves. Some people aren't in the limelight and they're just super fast shooters. There's other people that are 
greatest shooter in their category, as in long range or precision shooting or small bore, or big bore, uh, speed shooting with pistol, three gun, two gun, one gun. There's a lot of different types of categories. So to claim yourself as the best shooter in the world, nobody should ever do that. Everyone can be a fast and great shooter. Everyone should be helping each other out. Get out and train. If you guys have questions about how I train or what I do, I would love to talk to you guys. Head over to social media at GY6Vids, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Come say hi. I try to do it myself. I have some people helping me out occasionally, but I try to check the direct messages and comments myself because I want to get back to the fans and answer questions. But stick to your guns, literally. Get out there and train. Don't spend all your money on all the fancy stuff yet. Spend money on ammunition and practice, 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 and you'd be surprised how fast you can get. All right. Sandra with GY6 Vids. I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next episode. Coming soon. Later.